Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so in this video, uh, this is again a video that I've been wanting to make for a while, but you know, videos like these, I made a similar video for paper one. So videos like these require a lot of extensive research. So, you know, that's that's what I was doing and uh, coupled with the live streams that we're having. So that's that's why it took me so long. But anyway, uh, it's, it's still not too late. You have your exam in five days from now. So you have plenty of time for you to sort of tweak your preparation. Hopefully you're well into um, your preparation by now and you're probably winding up. If not, if there are still a couple of topics left, that's fine. Nothing to worry about. Make sure you're doing early pass papers, so, you know, uh, that way you're keeping a gauge of how well prepared you are. So in this video, I'm just gonna be, um, again, not a guest paper video, not a prediction of any sort. Okay, nothing of that sort. Just some analysis, just some data that's gonna be talking to you, not me and hopefully that will help you realize what topics should you be focusing more on and what topics should you be focusing slightly less on okay okay so uh before we get into the video let me just take you through the key so again i'll share this file with you guys in the description box you can download it and use it accordingly and again if you're new here uh make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video like this video with whoever you think and possibly benefit from it okay so this is the key so basically there are the main topics so these topics are worth 10 to 12 marks each you'll either find like a one big question of this topic so for example you might find a one big question of graphs of functions or statistics where you know part by part there may be asking you so for example if it's graphs of functions they may ask you to make a tangent and they may ask you to make um, some other straight line and then find the point of intersection so on and so forth so these are these are your main topics okay so you'll find questions of uh, 10 to 12 marks each okay or sometimes like for example algebra again is a main topic but sometimes you'll find algebra squeezed into or sort of um, you know um, thrown in between uh, questions of other topics okay but still it's a main topic and by algebra i've written over here by algebra i mean fractions you know expand simplify cross multiply and all of that okay and then the same goes for so let's okay so that that was main topics now let's talk about filler topics okay and then we'll talk talk about the main topics one by one in detail so filler topics are basically topics that are worth four to eight marks each okay uh these are these to don't always have independent questions they do but they're likely to be uh, found in between um, main topics so for example you might find a question of speed time graph or not speed time graph actually speed distance time or maybe speed time in between trigonometry you might find a question of uh, similar similarity and congruence again in between trigonometry so these are your filler topics okay these are these are names that i've given them okay these aren't their official names just so we're clear Again, what I've highlighted in yellow is basically the topics that you should watch out for because these topics were not tested in paper one and I haven't seen a paper where these topics were not tested. So that means if they weren't tested in paper one, they're very likely to be tested in paper two, okay? So yeah, and then uh, in brackets where I've written P1 means that they were already tested in P paper one. So still do pay attention to them, but don't just, just don't neglect them completely, okay? In fact, I don't think there's any topic that you should be neglecting completely. Okay, now let's go through the main topics one by one. So statistics, you know, statistics could be spread over a whole bunch of concepts. You have mean, median, mode, you have histogram, cumulative frequency, bar chart, pictogram, the one that came in paper one. And uh, you have range and pie chart and all of that, okay? So you will find a question of statistics very likely. And this is a main topic. That means all of statistics combined could be like 10 to 12 marks, okay? Same goes for everyday math, profit, loss, discount, tax, currency, conversion, interest. And uh, in between, you know, you might find like limits of accuracy question or something like that, or a question that's related to speed distance time. So, but overall, this is a very important topic. And uh, algebra, I already told you, graphs of functions, very, very important, okay? Difficult, yes, but only parts of it are difficult, not the entire topic. And we will inshallah be having a stream of graphs of functions very soon. Mensuration, uh, we did a live stream of mensuration 2D and 3D, okay? Uh, make sure to watch that if you haven't yet, but again, very, very important. And make sure that you have the formulas memorized. I posted on my Instagram, uh, basically a post where I've written all the formulas, so make sure to check that out. Trigonometry, sine rule, cosine rule, area of triangle, bearing, Pythagoras theorem, and simple sine cost and ratios, very, very important. 
quadratic equations uh, and word problems leading to quadratic equations. Okay, so these questions are basically the start off with um, the time taken to reach from A to B is this, and then on the way back was this, you know, form an equation and show that it simplifies to this. And it's not always regarding speed distance time, sometimes it's regarding shape, sometimes it's even similar shapes, okay? So again, very important. And basically towards the end, you will be asked to solve a quadratic equation. So, and it's not, by the way, it's not always, um, it all not always leads to a quadratic equation. Sometimes it's a linear equation also, but these are basically wo mm -hmm. word problems, okay? Something, again, you should be paying extra attention to. And then you have filler topics, so transformation, travel graphs, and uh, these topics, the topics that I've highlighted in yellow, like I said, were the ones that were not tested in paper one. So, you know, be extra vigilant about these topics. And then, you know, uh, these topics, although sim similarity and congruence, vectors, set, uh, sets and Venn diagram, number sequences, loci and simple construction. Loci and simple construction is also kind of spread out, you know, um, so you have loci that's separate and construction that's separate. So chances are if you were tested, if loci was tested in paper one, you know, chances are that you may be asked to construct a quadrilateral or a triangle in paper two, okay? Again, not a, not a prediction, I'm just saying that the trend has been so, so you know, uh, might happen the same this year also. Limits of accuracy, indices and standard form. So these were topics that were uh, tested in paper one, but that does not, by any means mean that you should neglect them completely you should still pay attention to them but these uh, how many are these one two three four five six seven so these seven are basically your main topics okay so if you make sure that whatever you do you pay really close attention to these topics again that is not mean you neglect the rest of the topics those topics are also equally important but you pay super super close attention to these topics because these topics like i said overall are worth 10 to 12 marks okay and do watch out for these topics especially uh, transformation kinematics graphs of linear inequalities matrices simultaneous equations okay especially especially these ones that i've highlighted with the exception of symmetry not saying that symmetry is not going to be tested but you know it's usually worth three four marks okay so don't waste too much time focusing on a topic that's not worth a lot of marks you should do that but towards the end okay first focus on the topics that are worth a lot more than that okay so yeah that's that's about it uh this is something that i want to talk to you guys about hopefully this video will further help you prepare for your exams and yeah that's about it i'll see you guys in the next video again if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye